Abby Garcia, and I'm an actor living in LA. I've only lived here for about eight months, and just so much has happened. It's a wild ride. It's not really a cakewalk out here. And what, what I love about LA is the history, the acting history. My dream is to be an actor. I set myself a goal to be on the big screen one day, and it doesn't need to be a lead role as long as I'm on the big screen, because that's what I want to do in life, is to be an actor. I think it's the best job in the world, if you really ask me. And what I love about LA is there is it's the entertainment capital of the world. There's so much to do, and it gives you a lot of opportunity. But it's a very cruel city, so you gotta really know how to fight around the system, how to work around it, and just you gotta know people. You gotta be understanding, and you just gotta keep working and grinding. Don't let rejection get to you because it gets to me sometimes. That's one thing an actor faces a lot is rejection. And then he or she quits the act, the acting field. And the the industry is a very cruel industry, but you can't let that get to you. And in LA, that all comes in LA. It comes with good things, comes with bad things, a lot of opportunity, but you have to be willing to work for it. So if you if you ever live in LA, just just be careful with things and just have fun because it's a very awesome city to live in. There's a lot of good clubs, a lot of beaches, and who doesn't love that? Am I right? So if I could just uh, give you some advice, just just never never stop working, never stop grinding on what you want to do in life, and this is the place to do it. So anything in this industry. One, another piece of advice that I can give you, never be too desperate for anything that can just de delay your dignity. Because there was one time where I was asked so many credit card informations and I wanted to get my name out there so bad, I gave it to him. I gave a lot of other personal information that I shouldn't have. Luckily, nothing has happened to me yet financially with that, but I was... It, I was too desperate so I can get my name out there and just and make an extra buck out here, out here in LA. You're gonna face a lot of pressure. And just don't, don't do the same mistake I did because I was an idiot and didn't know what was coming to me. It was a big rookie mistake. So I would just suggest never be too desperate for a job out here in LA. Even if it means getting your name out there and your dignity is way more than just a buck out here. So, for the naturistic elements of LA, there's a lot of green, so expect a lot of wildlife. There's, there's always going to be like a lot of critters, squirrels, raccoons, possums, there's a lot of possums on the street, and a lot of cougars ar around in the mountain area, so be careful when you're hiking. A lot of people actually get attacked by a mount, la mountain lion when they go on a certain trail, so be careful. Go with somebody, not by yourself. And for the ocean aspect, there's you gotta be careful because there's, there's a lot of stingrays on the shore and a lot of people get stung by them and jellyfish, be careful of that. Very few shock attacks, very few, but just like be just be aware because they can, they're known to come up to the shore a lot, especially when you surf. Like I just went surfing, yep, I just went surfing yesterday and I was, I was just so scared, I was just gonna get attacked by a shark, but um, it's, it's always, there's a lot of green, so it, it can be a lot, it's very cool. It's oh, 80 degrees a lot, most of the time, almost every day. If not, then very cloudy. And in the winter, it rains a lot sometimes. But yeah, there's, if you wanna just take pictures of different, different wildlife, there's a lot of squirrels you can take pictures of. You can do a lot of photography in a, a, like a woodland area like this. It's a very perfect area because the trees look, they look perfect. But yeah, just, just just expect a lot of wildlife in this area. So when you move to LA, never think someone is your friend, because there's a lot of fake people here. You can get a lot of experiences. You gotta be very careful in, in the acting industry. There's a lot of fake people and a lot of very mean people that just try to go for your money and just try to work to embarrass you, degrade your dignity. For they they'll judge you for your your size, your skin, your hair, anything that you have on you, there's always something wrong with it. And you can't let that get you down. But you gotta be stronger than that. You gotta be tougher than that. LA wants you to fail. When LA was built so people can come here and make a life in the acting industry, acting and modeling. 
So it automatically wants you to fail. It doesn't want you to succeed. Like a lot of other things doesn't want you to exceed because you'll be higher than that. So what you gotta do, you gotta be more, you gotta be smart. You gotta be, you almost gotta be perfect to a certain extent where you can't get punked a lot. You're gonna get tried, tricked out of everything. People are gonna lie to you saying that they're your friend. It's a very dangerous place. So you can't, you can't be gullible. A lot of times I would be gullible and I would get myself in a very disappointed situation. Luckily, it's not a position where it gets me in trouble, hurt, or killed. So you just gotta be smart. You gotta have a lot of street smarts in Los Angeles because it's not a cakewalk around here. Let me tell you that firsthand. Just be careful. Don't be soft. Be very tough in this industry because it will seriously beat you down. I remember this one story. It was in the it was in the 20s or 30s. I forgot her. This actress. She moved to Los Angeles. Kept facing rejection over and over again. She went to the Hollywood sign. She after the last rejection, she just said no more. She was gonna kill herself. Well, she wa she went up to the Hollywood sign, figured out a way to get on top of one of the letters and jump off, and she killed herself. The very next day, a play in near downtown Los Angeles called her saying she got the part. That's a waste of life right there, and it's a waste of opportunity. It can lead you to a point where it could hurt yourself or worse, kill yourself. So don't let it get to your mind. Just be smart. That's all.